What's going on everybody? This is Dave from Steel City Jones Flight Academy. In this video, we're talking about Mavic 2 and Mavic 2 Enterprise display options. We get a lot of questions about this, how they should be packaged, what clients want to be able to get, what's the best bang for the buck. So we're going to talk about each of these options. So let's start with the main basic setup right here you're going to get, and that is just a controller where you're going to use your smartphone. And um, obviously that's going to be the least expensive option. And you now the downside of this is, again, you're at the mercy of the total brightness on your smartphone. And a lot of uh, smartphones out there are not very bright in daytime. So that can be a problem. The second thing is your power consumption is going to go down considerably and you may get a, at the best maybe two hours of flying time on a fully charged battery. And then you have to look at the situation of what do I do if I need to start flying and I'm at 20% or I'm at 15%. You're not going to get a whole half a, heck of a lot of flying time and what are you going to do? You're going to borrow someone else's phone or are you then going to download the app on the fly where you might need to get this up and running very quickly. That's why I'm not in favor of this option. The second option is something that we've been using for quite some time. It's using a Crystal Sky Ultra Bright Monitor in conjunction with the Evolution 3D Bracket. We like it because we've always used the Crystal Sky Monitor. We fell in love with this two years ago when it first came out. It's very bright. You don't even need a visor in the, the harshest sun and you can interchangeable batteries. You don't have to worry about that. Um, that's also been a very good option. Now the downsides of this is not very portable and if you're going to then uh, you have to put this together on site, you're going to have to put the two screws to hold this up and then you're going to have to have something that you're going to have to transport this monitor and this bracket as well. Now if you want to be able to keep this all together and get this up quickly, you're going to have to go with dedicating a Crystal Sky monitor to this and potentially having a custom case or use some kind of a case that you're going to dedicate like a Pelican case and cut it out and be able to make sure that it's nice and protected. But now you're at, you're talking about a second case, uh, two cases, one for the aircraft, one for the display monitor setup. The third option is the smart controller option where the controller and the monitor is all built into one. We really like this now. And when we show all of our clients, when we train, we give them all three options to fly with and everybody gravitates to this. Um, another reason why people don't like this when they're flying, when they're training, is that you really have to hold it up with your hands. There is a place for a lanyard right here, but it's not gonna be very balanced and it doesn't really do the job like you really want it to do it. So you're holding it up with your hands after a couple flights, your hands are getting fatigued and it's going to start affecting your flight performance. And if, let's say, you, what if you got to do four or five flights, you're really not going to be happy holding that up all that time. So that's another uh, negative with this option. And the smart controller, it's all in one. It's very heavy duty. Um, you can get a lot of time flying, charge time with this. You can charge it up. We've seen over four hours of flying time with this. It's very bright, it's very portable. If you're interested in something like this, we highly recommend the GPC case that they make for this with the Mavic 2 along with the smart controller. So that's another consideration. So those are the differences between the three options, the most three that we like, and we hope that this helps clarify some of the things regarding this. If you have any questions, please let us know. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button, help us grow the channel. We are giving away a Mavic Mini at the end of March. And with that said, uh, let us know if we can help you out. And until next time, thanks again. If you like this video and like to see more free videos in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you're interested in free lessons on how to fly drones, discounts on drone equipment, discounts on insurance or access to our exclusive drone video library, check out our website, steelcityflightacademy.com.